How far would you go to look and feel younger? Scientists may have found a real fountain of youth. A startup claims to have found the fountain of youth, and it is young blood. If true, this is huge, right? Dr. Jesse Carmazin believes the fountain of youth is filled with blood, young blood, preferably that of a person under the age of 25. What if you could reverse the aging process simply by getting a blood transfusion? That's what a new company called Ambrosia claims to do. Controversial new treatment that may hold promise, but at a price. It does appear to reverse the aging process. Dr. Jesse Carmazin is talking about transfusions with the young blood from teenagers, and he says it just may turn back the hands of time. That blood is going to patients over 35 as part of a clinical trial called Ambrosia, where subjects paid $8,000 to get the rich growth factors found in the platelets in blood's plasma. There have not been any published results, but the intriguing concept still found its way into pop culture. It's my transfusion associate. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? Hmm. Looks like adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? Does that mean something? Push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person. Um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. I... It's like, it's... Much of the film focuses on the organized system within Hollywood for grooming and then abusing children. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh yeah. 